Hello everyone, this is Aida Qolami from AgriMedSoft Research Company and welcome to Beginner's Guide for Using Microsoft Excel. So, uh, we have created a playlist in AgriMedSoft YouTube channel uh, specifically for Excel and for Excel tutorials. I have explained how to use functions like if, countf, etc how to use excel's options like conditional formatting uh, margin center wrap text and um, some of the things i don't remember right now but if you go check it out you can see all the all the videos in that playlist i will uh, put the link uh, down below so let's start as you can see this is a microsoft excel application I will open it and uh, right now I'm using Excel 2019 but uh, if you're using the uh, older versions or if you're say, uh, seeing this video when the newer versions are launched and you're using the newer late uh, newer versions um, you know uh, they are pretty much the same and i hope you can use it um in different versions but if you search um simple things like how to do this in this version you can see that if there is any differences uh you can see uh, how to go about it but but they're pretty pretty much the same so as you can see here um actually i can go for um some templates here i can go for more templates you can see for example this is blood sugar tracker which there is a prepared um sheet for you that you can enter your data maybe here and it will count it for you and um draws the graph etc but we don't uh, have to do anything with with those kind of things we just want to open a plain um, a blank workbook if you click on here you can see a blank workbook or worksheet here so as you can see there are unlimited number of cells rows and columns so these are named columns a b c d etc these are called rows and uh you can see now i'm actually selecting two cells so these are called cells and you can do all your calculations um data entry and all of these things in these cells and all the things actually happen in these cells so as you can see here, I have some tabs, so they are named tabs, home tab, insert tab, page layout, formulas, data, etc. In each tab, you can see these segments for font or for alignment or for number, etc. And then you can see the options in these groups or segments. So then, um, in each cell that you select you can see this number of cells so um, this is actually B3 uh, you can see that in Excel we have A to if you if you click on here you can go uh, further so we have A to Z and then it starts with A A A B so to A Z and then it goes to uh, B, A, and etc. So in terms of rows, you actually have one to unlimited number of rows here, which um, show, um, they will show up as, uh, as if you um, need them. So um, that's it. And then in here you can see this sheet number so it's sheet number one if I click on that if I if I uh, double click on that you can see that it's the, the name is selected and actually I can uh, rename it so I can um, name it a 
and then in here if I click on this um, plus sign you can see its description is new sheet so if I click on that I can go to the sheet number two I can name it B so that's it and here uh, let's start to input data and use it very simple and easy to see how we can uh, work with it so here let's say I want in the first uh, cell to have my precipitation so as you can see this uh, actually the, the the writing that I have written is a little bit, a bit large for this cell so it's it doesn't uh, bother me right now but if you are uh, like uncomfortable with it you just need to go here and double click on that so it uh, resizes to the size of your uh, writing so it, it just fits itself then I went in the next cell to enter the you know okay so I wanted to be entered the date so I have precipitation values and the date so here just like word or um, anything else like um, uh, PowerPoint or anything else you can uh, use these font settings so I want the titles to be bolded so I will bold them or you can equalize it or uh, anything else so I want them to be bold then you can uh, color them so I can like highlight them or, or anything so yeah let's color them and then I can simply enter my data so I want the precipitation to be I don't know like um, 150 and here I want to enter the date so the date for this event is maybe um, the month of five uh, of uh, you know okay yeah let's say we want to have the daily uh, um, events so it should be in one uh, day so it's like uh, let's say 20 millimeters so i can here i can add the unit of this event and again i go for double clicking on that so the millimeter is shown and then for date i want to have a uh, month five the first day of month five in the year 2020 okay so uh, whatever so the date entry in Excel is uh, the, the standard way to uh, enter date is by month first, then a, 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 a slash March, then the day. So it's the first day of 2020. So if I just input 20, it will understand that it's 2020. So it will change it automatically to 2020 so here if I want this date to be like shown in other format what I want to do is to uh, right click on the cell or right click on the whole column so there's just the rule here whatever you want to change first you should select it so I select that and right click on that and go to format cells you can see it down here i go to format cells and you can see the format of this cell so it's in date and it's in um month day and year so if i want i can put it on you know the number of uh, weekday and then in other formats or let's say I want it to be like this so I will just change it to first day of May 2020 so I will go ahead and want other data so here the very useful function in Excel is 
uh, rand between so I can use it to randomly create numbers in here so that I can work with them so I put an equal mark first so this is uh, a tip here whenever you want to enter any data uh, uh, any uh, formula you just need to put uh, an equal mark so first of all I put an equal mark then I simply type my function so that's how you call functions so I will go through typing rand between and you can see the list of functions which appear as soon as you enter the letters so I go for rand between I double click on that and and before when, when I just um, first click on that the description shows up it returns a random number between the numbers you specify so I double click on that and here it wants me to specify the bottom and top number so I wanted to create randomly uh, numbers between let's say 15 and 50 so I close the parentheses and click enter and that's the random number between the numbers I have specified so I wanted to create these kind of numbers um, to the cell 20 so I want these all uh, cells to be filled with random numbers between 15 and 50 so what I will do is to go by the way um, each time I enter the cell or do anything in here it will change these numbers okay so it's uh, the, the feature of um, rank between function which uh, we don't care right now so for copying this formula to other cells I need to first select the cell then this um, you know this square here appears in the corner right you can see it so I go right to that square and this plus sign you know bold plus sign appears I click and then you can see um, you can see in in ready you can see this ready and let's watch it when I I click on here it says drag outside selection to extend series or fill drag inside to clear so I want to drag um, outside to fill uh, or extend series I want it to be filled up to cell 20 I uh, can see that these numbers are created so that's it here I want to again uh, add these dates uh, to the end so I said it's uh, the daily series so I just do the same I click on this bold plus uh, sign I go up to cell 20 and I drop it so you can see that these um, you know hashtags maybe are appeared because they don't have enough space to show me the data so I just again go here and double click so that it uh, gets to here you can see that it automatically uh, automatically creates the series of these dates so it uh, it starts by day one it goes to two three four five so it adds one day in each cell so but another thing that I wanted to show you here is that when I go here and copy these cells this option appears here it says add to fill options so I click on that and you can see there are lots of functions uh, to you know lots of criteria to go through when I copy this formula so I wanted to fill days, weekdays, fill months, fill years, or flash fill. So I wanted to, to be filled by days or fill series. So it's, um, you know, by default on fill series, it's, it's no difference when I, when, uh, if I click on fill dates, uh, days or series, they are all the same. So that's it. Actually, this is my dates 
and the other cell the first cell is my precipitation now um, another thing that I wanted to show you you know the other simple um, uh, function that maybe you need um, when you want to work in very beginner uh, steps is that when you want to paste uh, copy and paste your data here as it is ran uh, randomized numbers I, and they are uh, you know changing whenever I do anything here I want them to I, I want to copy them and paste them so that they don't change so I want them to be pasted in values uh, um, only so they don't hold this function with them okay so they they are all having these functions with them i want them uh, to be just um holding the values okay so what i will do is that i select these cells i control c so that they are copied and then i go to paste function here in home paste and if i click on this option here I can find paste special so paste special is here I click on that and it um, opens a window here so it's here on paste all so I just want to be to paste the values so I click on that I click OK and you can see that if I double click on that they don't hold their functions anymore so they just have their values so another simple uh, simple thing that I want to do here to show you and to make you more comfortable with Excel is to uh, make uh, an average and make a summation for this data. So what I will do here, I want a cell here. So um, yeah, let's say I want here to be named as average so I want it to be month average and then I again double click on that and then I go for month sum then I double click and as you know I can bold them so that they are the titles and what I will do here as I told you I first need an equal mark so I need an equal mark then I go for typing average so this average is the second uh, function in the list I double click on that and I want to uh, select all my data cells I close the parentheses and click enter so that's the average for this month so um, but if you know if you probably know uh, for precipitation actually the average is um, you know nonsense and we use the sum of a month for precipitations so average is basically used when you're working with um, flow or base flow or um, anything else so we are using sum but f for uh, you know showing you I just um, calculated this average also so another time I go for making an equal mark then I go for um, searching sum so adds all the numbers in the range of cells I double click on that again select all my range close the parentheses and click enter so that's the summation of this precipitation in the month so I guess uh, I don't have anything more to add to this video right now but uh, if you're interested you can check the playlist we have on agreement soft channel YouTube channel please don't forget to subscribe and um, ring the bell so that you can understand whenever we post a new video and you can watch it and you don't miss it of course and and I'm happy to be with you and to guide you in this um, you know uh, journey of learning Excel Microsoft Excel so I'm so happy and I will see you in the next video and bye